In this question, uh, it says that a solid cylinder with a diameter di of 55.1 mm is immersed in a fixed cylindrical container. So this is a container. And the container is filled with uh, oil, SAE10W oil at 20 degrees C as shown here. The diameter of the fixed container, the outside, the external diameter is 55.5 mm. And the immersed length of the solid cylinder in the oil is 160 mm L. So L, the immersed length is 160 mm. The solid cylinder is rotated at 28 radian per second. So it's rotating at 28 radian per second. Then by ignoring the effect at the bottom of the container and assuming the velocity distribution in a gap between the solid cylinder and the fixed container is linear, we are asked to determine. So uh, ignore the effect at the bottom, so ignore the shear stress generated at the bottom. First of all, determine the torque generated on the cylindrical surface, surface A, which is the surface of the rotating cylinder, of the solid cylinder. The power required to maintain the rotating speed at 28 radian per second with a torque obtained in one here. And then after that, the percentage change in the torque if the temperature of the oil increase to 80 degrees Celsius. Let's just say the whole of this thing is actually immersed in oil. The length L is equal to 160 millimeter. And then the, the oil inside here is SAE 10W at 20 degrees C. So, mentions that we can ignore the bottom part. And then the other thing is assume linear velocity profile. Also given that the internal diameter the I is equal to 55.1 millimeter whereas the external diameter external diameter the O is equal to 55.5 millimeter so in the first part, we are asked to calculate the torque generated on this surface. So if we consider the cylinder, let's consider an elemental element like that, where the height of this is equal to, let's call that one dl. Okay, and then the radius here is let's call that big R. So considering the torque generated on this surface here, so it's equal to the force generated multiplied by big R. But the force is actually equal to tau multiplied by dA, so multiplied by R. But we know that torque by Newton's law of viscosity is mu dV dy, and dA is the area here, so it's actually equal to 2 pi r multiplied by dl, so multiplied by r. So the whole thing is here, since the velocity is linear, so the velocity on the surface here is actually equal to omega r, so mu omega r divided by the thickness here, so let's call this thickness t. mu omega r over t, 2 pi r dl r. So that gives us dt is equal to 2 pi mu omega r to the power of 3, 1, 2, 3, divided by t dl. So in order, in order to calculate the full torque, so the torque will then will be equal to 2 pi mu omega r cubed t, which are all constants integrations of dl which effectively give us t is equal to 2 pi mu omega r cube l over t so so we need let's consider all the numerical values so first of all mu so we need mu at 20 degrees c so if you look at the the diagram for viscosity against temperature, 
So this is for SAE 10W. So at 20 degrees C, the value of viscosity is actually given here. So it's actually 1 times 10 to minus 1. So it's actually 1 times 10 to minus 1 newton second per meter squared. Then we know that omega is equal to 28 radian per second r r is actually equal to this radius so is the internal diameter 55.1 divided by 2 so that gives us uh, 27.55 millimeter and then l is actually the height of this is given that 160 millimeter and then T T is actually the thickness here so basically it will be dr minus d in so we have that one 2t so divided by 2 so dr minus d in divided by 2 so you have 55.5 minus 55.1 divided by 2 so that gave 0 0.2 Okay, then we can just substitute the numerical value inside the equation. So t is equal to 2 pi, mu is 0 0.1, omega is 28. And then r cubed, so r is actually equal to 27.55 times 10 to minus 3. And l is 160 times 10 to minus 3 as well and divided everything by t so t is 0 0.2 times 10 to minus 3 since it's in millimeters so the torque is just equal to 0 0.2943 newton meter okay the next part you ask to calculate the power so this is straightforward because power is actually equal to the torque multiply by omega so basically it's just 0 0.2943 newton meter multiplied by omega since everything is already in radian per second so just multiply by 28 so that gives you 8.24 watt okay the last part of the questions you ask to find the percentage change in torque if the temperature of the oil increases to 80 degrees Celsius. So basically, just now we have already calculated uh, the temperature, the torque. So we have got the torque at 20 degrees C. We have already calculated just now is actually equal to 0 0.2943. So now we have to calculate the torque at 80 degrees C. From the equation, we know that we know that the torque is actually directly proportional to the viscosity. Viscosity. So, in order to calculate the torque at 80 degrees C, we need to calculate the torque. Uh, we need to calculate to determine the viscosity at 80 degrees C. Right. So, looking at this uh, chart again, so at 80 degrees C, the torque. The, the viscosity is given by 8 times 10 to minus 3. So we have mu at 80 degrees C is actually equal to 8 times 10 to minus 3 newton second per meter square. So then since it's proportional to, since torque is proportional to uh, viscosity, we can directly calculate Top at 80 degrees C, which will be the top at 20 degrees C, 2943, divided by the viscosity at uh, 20 degrees C, which is 0.1, multiplied by viscosity at 80 degrees C, which is 8 times 10 to minus 3, and that gives us a value which is 0 0.023544 Newton. So then we can calculate the percentage change which will be equal to the new torque 
0.20354 minus the old torque 0.2943 divided by the original torque 0.2943 multiplied by 100 percent so that gives us 92 percent so basically the torque changes by 92 percent when the uh, viscosity when the temperature increases to 80 degrees C